Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. For me to write the same things to you is not tedious, but for you it is safe. For we are the circumcision who worship God in the Spirit, rejoice in Christ Jesus, and have no confidence in the flesh. Philippians 3, 1, 3. Christ in glory, our object. Rejoice in the Lord was the clarion cry for the Apostle Paul, and it should be for every Christian as he faces conflicts and obstacles along the pathway to his heavenly home. Paul was not thinking of the blessings secured for him by Christ, but his vision was filled with Christ himself, whose love had captured his heart. His object now was Christ in the glory, and his heart was so engrossed with him that he counted all things lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord. Verse 8. With his sights locked on Christ in the glory, Paul wrote, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Verse 14. He had not yet reached that goal, and neither have we, but his heart was fixed on the prize, Christ himself. Paul had lost all confidence in his religious attainments and in those things that a religious man would normally be proud of. He knew that if there was something in which the flesh could boast, then Christ would be robbed of the honor and glory that belonged only to him. What things were gained to me, these I have counted loss for Christ. Verse 7. His greatest desire was to gain Christ and be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith. Verse 8 to 9. Then, as the grand finale, Paul reminded the Philippian saints that our citizenship is in heaven, from which we so eagerly wait for the Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, verse 20. With our eyes fixed steadfastly on him, may we be found waiting and watching eagerly for the Savior from heaven, Jacob Redekop.